September is Prostate Cancer Awareness Month, and this morning we're talking, we're taking some time to talk about the most common type of cancer in men. Every year, more than 200,000 cases are uh, diagnosed, and 30,000 men die in this country alone. Joining us now with more on the risk and some of the factors and some of the new treatments is urologist Dr. Stephen Bardot. Dr. Bardot, thanks for joining us. And first of all, this is probably one of the most preventable cancers in men, correct? Absolutely. The big difference is catching it early when we still have a chance to offer therapy. Uh, we've also learned with a lot of genomics testing now that we can actually uh, determine if tumors that we do detect are safe to just watch or if they're tumors that need to be treated. And I have a good friend who, who died of prostate cancer, and it's one of those things that if he had diagnosed it or got it diagnosed early, he likely would still be here. Absolutely. I think one of the things since PSA testing, the PSA is the blood test we use to look to see if someone's at risk for prostate cancer. Since we started doing PSA testing in the 90s, uh, the death rate from prostate cancer has dropped by 50% in the US. And for most of the patients who we diagnose early, uh, ex you know, life expectancy is over 90%. So the key is catching it early when we have a lot of options. And the fact is the majority of men as they age will be at risk of getting uh, prostate cancer, but what are some of the risks for, for, for uh, most people? What are the things you look for? Uh, certainly increasing age is a big component. The average age of prostate cancer is about 65. Uh, African Americans have a higher risk, uh, so we pay attention to that. Uh, we can also see some symptoms uh, with troubles with urination, a weak stream, possibly blood in the urine. Uh, are all things we watch for. Uh, if the tumor gets more advanced, uh, we can actually see the cancer spread to the bone and have bone pain. But the real key is for patients to get screened early and regularly so we can catch it before any of those things occur. And how often do you think people, uh, is it just get it done at, uh, at, at your yearly examination? Uh, that would be a good place to start. The rule of thumb is trying to get an annual PSA check. If you have a primary care physician, ask them, talk to them about getting a PSA check. Uh, generally, for most men, we recommend starting at the age of 50. However, if you have a family history or if you're African American, you should start probably at the age of 40 uh, getting the test every year. But it's a great thing to talk about with your family doctor or your urologist uh, to find out what the options are for you and how often you should have it done. And even if you have prostate cancer, it doesn't always mean you have to have surgery, correct? Correct. Uh, we're learning more and more these at this time that oftentimes we can catch very small, slow growing tumors uh, that we can safely watch for years and years and don't need treatment. Uh, the real key is being able to find and identify the high-risk tumors that do need therapy. All right, Dr. Stephen Bardo, thank you very much. We appreciate that. If you're at an increased risk for prostate cancer, you should talk to your doctor. Get a yearly examination. It's very important. If you'd like more information about cancer treatments at Oxner, we've posted a link to their website on our website, www.tv.com. Just look for the links on four and click that in.